Good morning, still pouring orange juice cup from the cupboard. I'm sure it's clean. More morphine, please. What's in store today? G's can't afford any more. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another day, another live, another video, another stream. If you don't know, you won't know. Now you know. I'm Apollo Black 115 I am the Twitch streamer you're watching today. Today we're doing another interview, an exclusive behind the scenes interview with featuring How Out of Fool from Instagram. Here you go, that's him. That's right, that's for me, and it's it's great. Um that makes me so happy to hear it. I hope other people feel the same way. Now we have one more question before I give you the camera to do basically your like I said, your little segment where we're going to be going here where I'm going to start trying to uh, corrupt you to give me some Easter eggs and some behind the scenes things. So the last question is, if your image or your ideal is something that you're using as an influence or using as a way to get to like a positivity for people, what is the image you're trying to uh, share with everybody? What is the ideal you're having for whether it's the youth or the older generation or the generation following now or the generation coming? I mean, nothing's real cheesy because I, I usually tell people if you want to do something, want, you always have the ball. You can't let the goalie stop you from kicking. I want to influence people to try it. Whatever it is that you've been thinking about, you've been putting off. Like, you, you are capable and you are worthy. I think our biggest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our biggest fear is that we're great beyond measure. Okay. That's Marianne Williams. Well, Marianne Williamson said that. And she said, when when you shine bright, you unconsciously give other people permission to shine bright too. So I just literally want all of us to be like the best version of ourselves because we're all different. So just be the best version of you. Fucking own that shit. You know what I mean? Walk out of your house with your goddamn Nike slides on and fucking own that shit. I'm a bad motherfucker. I'm a bad bitch. Okay. I'm going to go get what I want from the world, but I'm also going to spread love and be cool about it. All right, all right. And now, this is, the, this, is the, this is the part of the podcast I usually love the most. Now, whether it's your brand, your label, your image, this segment is for you. You have as much time as you want until you get bored, basically. Whether you want to perform, whether you want to talk about... I want to know all your new projects. Don't 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 leave me in the dark. Tell me what if you have albums coming out. If you have uh, whether your new concerts are coming out, where they're going to be held at, what your new projects are, what what kind of image you have for your new projects. Um, I, I if I want to throw it out there, here's a little Easter egg. You told me something yet the other day about um a breath. So what what project is that that led behind a breath? Uh, give it give it give it all to us. Is this backwards? Is this backwards in the camera? No, I can read it straight. Right. Yep. Okay, so Figure it out. I can read it straight. What you see here, uh, I want to get black shirts and hats. Black regular hats. Okay. Hold on, I have one here. This motherfucking thing. <laughs> I bought that for like 60 bucks. I'm like, I have to write down these ideas. No, I feel you. I feel you. I have a, a sticky note thing open on my computer at all times. So, hats just like this. Like just normal dad hats, black dad hats, you know. Uh, I'm gonna get three of them. I'm gonna get I am not a rapper on the front in white lettering. I'm not a rapper. Holla at a fool, and then Temple Tales. For the okay. Podcast. So look out for that coming soon, guys. I'll have merch, and then I'm also gonna get T-shirts that say the same thing. Um, I'm not a rapper. Holla at a fool and Temple Tales. And then I have some other stuff on there. I, there's this kid. He's like 22, I think. He, I found him on Instagram. His name's Babyface from the South. Okay. And he dropped an album from his room, and it's fucking awesome. It was so good. And I hit him up. That's why his name's on the board, is because he's going to have one of the features on the Just Kidding mixtape that we just spoke about okay. earlier. But what I'm doing with this board is under, under Just Kidding mixtape, I'm going to write all the features that I want for them. So just Babyface from now on. I'm being pretty picky about who I think would vibe well because he was funny dude he was like having bars that were just like hilarious and I'm like this guy gets what I'm trying to do so okay work with him. I'm not trying to be too serious about it but I think the thing is being funny is being serious yeah alright so the breath thing I was telling you about that is my album my album okay. is coming out I, it's undis 
closed when it's done. That's when my album's coming out. Okay. Um, it's called What a Life. First, here's the track list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 15 songs you guys seen that we're live here if you're missing out you're missing out hopefully when you watch this thing on youtube later guys you keep up but 15 songs coming out on that album it's about hopefully 35 minutes long okay and it's meant to be listened to as a collective all the way through from front to back non-stop okay so the first song is called inhale and the last song is called exhale so the whole album, the whole 30 minutes, takes place between one breath. Oh, okay. In somebody's, head. In somebody's head. You know what I mean? So the next song is Reflection. Okay. Just Be, which you heard the rough draft. Oh, yes, we have. Which Just Be ends with me saying, um, I'm just a poet. And the next song is Holla at a Fool, which starts with, I guess I got to rap a little bit. Okay. So I'm just a poet, but I guess I gotta rap a little bit to get a pop the piss in, and then I fucking go in on that song. And then that goes down to Lucy. Lucy's an interlude, and in, in this interlude, um, the main character gets a dose of acid from a young woman. Okay. And then it goes into pyramids, and then it goes into hyperventilate, which is another interlude. And the interludes are very short. Okay. The interlude is gonna be. It's called hyperventilate. It's literally that you just hear. <laughs> Okay. Freaking losing their breath, and then that goes into split. Split is fun because split is a, is a rap, but it's a story about split personality and bipolar disorder, and um, kind of losing your mind a little bit. All right. And that goes that goes into weight. In weight, he, he starts to go like he starts to like. Um, actually, no. After on weight, he screams. After split, in weight, he fucking screams, and then it drops down to a slow. Crescendo of like pianos and violin, and then it's a poem um, about my girlfriend. Okay. The love poem, and then that song goes into actually what I was recording before we did this. Um, the song is called Daisy, and that's a love song. All right. Daisy's, Daisy's fantastic. So after Wade is Daisy, and then Brotherhood, which is Cake, but uh, Adam gave me permission to redo it um, the way I wanted to with the drums. Okay. So we're going to have drums on that one. I'm going to call it Brotherhood Reprise. Interesting name. I love it. I'm loving it. Because Reprise means when you redo something. Yes. Um, especially, yeah. Um, and then after that is Composure. The main character is finally coming back to... Uh, he's got his girl. He's got his boys. You know, he's finally coming back to center. And then Tragic. About uh, death and heartbreak and... How we can overcome that shit, you know? And then the next song is called Gratitude, which I have not written yet. All the other songs are written and done in my head, but Gratitude is not written yet because I want it to be most relevant to when I drop it. Understood, understood. So if I drop it, I want, I'm going to probably write and finish Gratitude a week before the album comes out. Okay. Just so it'll be, just so it'll be literally current. That way you're in that proper mindset. Well, that and I can I can be grateful for the whole process and I can express my gratitude in that moment for the whole process of creating this album up to this moment in my life and then finish that song, drop the album. Oof, all right, here we go, all right. And so, yeah, that's that's what a life. And then the last one is called Exhale, which is just, whew, like a sigh of relief. And then the album starts over with... <gasps> Boom, 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 boom. It's all a cycle, baby. So, you have the exclusive, if you see on my thing up here, it just says to read it all in. You got the exclusive look. Um, right here today. With the nation. I love it, I love it, I love it. Is there anything else, is there anything you want to, uh... Anything you want to introduce, anything you want to show off, anything you want to, mm, maybe I can get a little performance out of you. All right. So my next show is April 12th. Okay. Give me the plugs. Give me the plugs. Uh, at Sound Bar, Orlando. I told them I want to go on first because I'm a fucking adult and I have to go to work the next day. Okay. But they're going to be rapping until 2 a.m., bro. Shh. like, do you want a late night slot or an early set? I was like, let me get like first or second. Plus, I want to set the bar high. 
Yeah, I understand that. Because I did, bro. I went fourth on my last show. Oh, we didn't talk about my last show. Um, well, that's what that's what we're doing. That's what the segment's for. I want. I really, we're doing everything. My first one. This was my first one, right? Yeah. As a rapper, I've, I've done comedy. I've done open mics. Okay. Uh, poetry. I've done like poetry slam stuff, you know. And I've done a bunch of open mic night rap nights at Austin Coffee, where you just get on the mic and freestyle. But I've never done a show until last Saturday. And they gave me seven minutes. I picked five songs. Oof, they that's beautiful. Back you good? No, I'm saying that's beautiful. Yeah, bro. I didn't use a backtrack at all. I was the only one out of 24 people who performed that night that didn't use a backtrack. Uh, I fucking, I think I missed, out of all my words, I think I missed three words because I ran out of breath. Okay. But, uh, bro, the crowd was lit. There was this one girl up front. She had, like, she was just, like, this chick by herself. And, like, she was really paying attention to every word I was saying. And, like, at one point, I said, um, in Jets B, I say, uh, these words are an antivirus. It's what they call Norton. And if you think you heard a who, well, listen, I'm hoarding. Instead of hoarding your weed and supporting your weed, why don't you take a fucking seat and figure out what you need? And she just went. She did this, and then she did this. And then she was just like. And, bro, everyone in that room, there was, there was maybe maybe 100 people in there, bro. Everybody in that room was really listening to everything I said, bro. Because that's what I made it about. I didn't make it a showboat performance. Right. I was trying to help out the crowd. I got on stage. And I said, um, I didn't even say what up, soundbar. I just got on the, I had them play my shit. They called my name. And I said, yo, start the first track from the crowd. I yelled, start the first track. Got on stage and fucking got the mic and just started spitting the first track. And then after the second track is when I said, hey to the crowd. Okay. Yeah, and then I said, hey to the crowd. And then I did good morning. Sat down on the stage and just chilled. I sat down and just like, good morning. The morning, morning juice cup. And I had no backtrack, so I was able to switch up my cadence a little bit. Right. My flow, which was a lot of fun, and then I did meerkats, which um, my group of friends were called the meerkats because when we go to festivals, we just do this instead of bringing a totem. Because people usually bring totems so they can find their group. You know, right. Guess, and shit. We just do we just do that. All of us, and so we we've been meerkats for like four or five years now. And there was like there's like a hundred of us bro in this festival group, and every time there's a show, we hit up the meerkat chat like yo who's going to the show what's up guys who's going to this whatever whatever and um i think the meerkats my friends were like a third of the room nice yeah it was huge bro and i say i told them all earlier before because we were all at my house before the show having a good old time and um i was like guys there's one part in my song and i was like i say pull up to the spot with the meerkats and then in the background i go ski you like that's our thing at festivals when i go all right guys we gotta find somebody Everybody puts their fucking hands up, and we all just go, Ski you! Like, just start yelling, Ski you! And so, I was like, guys, when I say this part, I need all y'all to say, Ski you, in the song. Tucker! Look at Puppers! That. Look at the puppy! Hi, hey guys! Come here, Tucker! This is boy. That's Tucker and Maddie. Oh, they're beautiful. Maddie. Beautiful. Hi, Maddie. We got some guests featuring in your interview. Like he owns the place. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then I did be, so when I said pull up to the spot with some meerkats, all of them went. And like every, people in the crowd, I saw people talking, what the fuck? And then I'd say, well, um, I love that song because it's about just like my festival group. Okay. So here, check it. Um, I don't wait in line at Bonnaroo. Group camping, it's nothing new. So group camping is a special thing where if you pay 50 bucks extra, um, but usually, to get in the Bonnaroo, you camp next to the person you drove behind. Right. You have to arrive together. The, the idea of group camping is you all get a spot and you can arrive whenever you want. Okay. And so we do that every year. We've been twice now. And so I don't wait in line at Bonnaroo. Group camping, it's nothing new. People want to take pictures with me because I'm pretty funny and I'm kind of cute. So that happened our first time we walked in the Bonnaroo. They're like, oh my God, are you famous? I was like, what? I was like wearing this outfit. And they're like, can we just have a picture with you? Sure. And then these girls took a picture of me, and my friends were like, "Yo, what the fuck was that?" Like, I don't know, man. So, um, because I'm pretty funny, and I'm kind of cute. Some bad women put trust in me, like my ex girlfriend. Bad. Bro. Okay. Bad women put trust in me. Probably think I'm a heartbreaker. Like I've, I've broken a lot of pretty good, pretty girl, pretty girl hearts, you know. Probably think I'm a heartbreaker. Don't get it twisted. I've seen you naked. Tell your boyfriend he can thank me later. Pull up to the spot with some meerkats, and then they all went. See you. 
I say we took about a half tab, which is a half tab of acid. Yeah. And then I say three quarters. So I took two hits of pure LSD. Yeah, uh, whatever a half is. This is where the love at. Cuddle puddle mac and cheese, which cuddle puddle mac and cheese was our friend Sydney on the way back to the. She was in the Uber and she was just in the back seat going. Cuddle puddle mac and cheese. Cuddle puddle mac and cheese. So. Puddle puddle cheese, like on the way home. Puddle puddle mac and cheese for a nightcap. Okay. Going to sleep. Cheese for a nightcap. Uh, never subtle, like we're always the best. Um, puddle puddle mac and cheese for a nightcap. Never subtle walks the bees in Tennessee. So there's this old rumor at Bonnaroo that there's bees in the trees in the front left of the main stage. Okay. I heard that the first year I went. I said, "Fuck bees, man. Let's go over there." I was like, "Let's go see the bees." Right. I was like, let's go. And we get there, and it's a rumor so that people don't go over there because it's wide open. It's a perfect place to see a concert, and it's not packed. Okay. And so I was like, guys, this is our spot. We have to tell everyone that there's bees in the trees. Like, so we just kept the rumor going. And apparently it's been a rumor for, like, 15 years there at Bonnaroo. Oh. And so we, we, we just kept telling all the newbies. There's be, like, And listen, the beauty about it is if they come back, they'll figure it out. Yeah. If you're watching the stream, hey, you got the Easter egg behind yeah, it. You got an exclusive for Bonnaroo, bro. Bees and so it, it takes a long time because the main stage is like over here, right? Okay. In front. The entrance is on the right and the top middle. So most people just congregate there, and it's a really, really long walk to get to the front left. Okay. So I was like, God, I was like, guys, and it was so packed one night. I was like, guys, just stick to the fence and follow the fence all the way down. And then we get there, and it's just fucking wide open. We saw Anderson Pac. We saw Childish Gambino there. I saw Eminem there. Where, like, bro, we're so close. So that's that line. That's that one line. Never subtle watch the bees in Tennessee. Group huddle. Just breathe in. Let it be. Walking tacos for dinner. Now, walking tacos are, uh, you get a bag of Doritos and you put uh, cooked beef in it. Okay. You put cheese. You put tomatoes. You put lettuce. And then you crush it all up and you shake it and you eat it with a spoon. Okay. It's walking tacos. So it's a taco in a bag, basically. Smart. So walking, walking tacos for dinner. And there's wooks in the kitchen. Got to catch and release them. Bring a suitcase with you. So as we were cooking those walking tacos, this wook came up to our campsite. He's like, you guys want to do some ketamine, man? And we were like, sure, dude, why not? And so we were hanging out with him and he was just like there for an hour. And the girls were like, can you get this fucking weirdo out of here? And so me and my buddy were like, we picked him up. We are like, all right, man, come on. It's time to, we're going to go to the bathroom. Come on. He's like, what? He was all spun out, dude. And so we just walked him to the bathroom. He went in the bathroom. Then we ran back to camp. <laughs> and so that's, 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 that's there's wooks in the kitchen. That's him. You got to catch and release him. Like, yeah, we'll do some ketamine. All right, now we got to release him, bud. All right. And bring a suitcase with you. Our friend Zach. Found a suitcase that says "Eat a Peach." Okay. It was, guys, what I found it was an empty suitcase, and so we just stuffed it with a bunch of party favors all weekend. <laughs> we get in a big circle, all the beer cats, and then Zach would run in the middle with the suitcase and go, "Who's ready to party?" And then he would open the suitcase, and all this party shit would come out, and all of us would grab something. I like there's a there's a picture of me with a taco outfit on. We're just running, and this is just one song, bro. Yeah. Um, walking tacos for dinners, books in the kitchens. Catch and release and bring a suitcase with you. So grab your pashmina. This is a pashmina. Hold up. Grab your pashmina. Everybody wears these at festivals because when it's cold at night, you just put this on over your jacket. Yeah. Or if you just want to be like this, you just go in your zone and watch the show. Like I, I've seen a lot of people in my group just like do this and just like watch the show. They don't want to see anything on the side. They're like, "Fuck you guys are creeping me out." I'm just gonna. Be yeah, right just here. tunnel vision straight to the show. So grab your pashmina, open the poppers. The poppers is just a, a, a drug my friend Zach introduced me to. Okay. You sniff it, and he's gay. Apparently, it's like a thing in the gay community because it helps with sex, I guess. Okay. And I'd say, so grab your pashminas, open the poppers, and then ad lib is period. Because that's Zach used to say period to me all the time, bro. I made him just fucking, I like four in the morning, just like, yo, let me get one of those poppers. And just, gotta just make sure you go like lightheaded for a second, and then you just come back down. <laughs> so, and then I say period in homage to Zach. So grab your pashminos, Owen the poppers, period. Yo, where's Micah? Micah's my buddy, one of my best friends. Okay. And he, at festivals, he always says, 
I was like, yo, Micah, can you, can you, like, every time you ask me, can you? He goes, no, nah, man, I'm a towel. And so the lyric is, yo, where's, and then he always gets lost a lot. We lose Micah a lot. So I'm like, yo, where's Micah? I don't know, he's a towel. Hey, we're professional partiers and probably the rowdiest. We're raging responsibly. Have you seen my daughter, Molly? It's a full moon and I'm grateful. Life is amazing. I think I finally know what God is. Ooh, look at the lasers. Because I'm on drugs, bro. I think I know what God is and get distracted and be like, oh, those lasers are cool. Right. Yeah, so that's that one song, bro. That's called Meerkats. And that's an homage to my, my people, my party people. That that's that's great. That's lovely. That is lovely. All right. So give me one of your songs, and if you want me to explain the lyrics, I will. Give me Ooh. one of your favorite songs. Well, you already know my favorite song. My favorite song is "Good Morning." All right. I'll do "Good Morning" then. Cause I literally turned it into an intro. Yeah. yeah all right. So "Good Morning" still pouring orange juice cup from the cupboard. I'm sure it's clean. More morphine, please. Like I need more drugs. Like what's in store today? Jeez, I can't afford any more torment. I'm thinking past tense because I used to have a lot of torment. I'm thinking past tense. I'll bet somewhere else. Okay. Help me. <laughs> Just like, yeah, dude. I don't, that's that's almost self-explanatory. Drugs detriment to my health. All right, this is a good one. Mug shot, bum a clock. Got arrested and went stealth. Remember when I got arrested in Jamaica? Yeah, I remember that. That's that. That's that line. Mug shot, bum a clock. Got arrested and went stealth because after I got arrested, I left. I didn't fucking talk to nobody for a while. Yeah, yeah, you disappeared for a while. Yeah, and then I'm hot and you're not the Katie Heron of the rap game. That's the main character of the movie Mean Girls. Yeah, and then you say Mean Girls. Yeah, Mean Girls. Get famous and forget names. Dream Girls. All my friends say, all my friends say, um, I you know that riff rap thing? Where he's like, my goal is to blow the fuck up. Yeah. Act like I don't know nobody. Yep. And so I say that a lot. Like, and that's part of the Mean Girls thing, too, because, like, get, once you get popular, like, she forgets the other Yeah, girl. yeah. Mean Girl, get famous and forget name. My dream girl is right beside me. My switch lanes in this world. You either get it or you don't, man. And I mean that, like, mentally, too. It's not even about stuff. Right. It's like, and then I say, that's why I say, get a clue. You either get it or you don't, man. Get a clue. You new to this? And then Professor Plum... And that was, and no lie, when, because I, I love the intro to Good Morning, and I love the way, because it's rhyme scheme, but then when you, when you started with the, the Easter eggs for, like, the game Clue, I was like, yo, this man literally just went, like, a whole different way, like, people usually be like, and no offense to any rappers out there, or any musicians, people usually be like, talk about sex, or drugs, or like, it, like, anything else when it comes to, like, money or nothing, no, you literally pulled up an old school board game. I kind of am, if you listen, I kind of No, am. I know you are, but, like, sometimes, like, music, like, the music consists of that the entire time. Like, sometimes the chorus is even that with songs. But you, you literally brought up an old-school board game and was like, word scheme, word scheme, word scheme. I ain't new to this. I'm Professor Plum. Are you dumb? I murdered this bitch. Ballroom candlestick. You need more evidence? Suck my balls and my dick. I'll be impressed if it all fits. Up next in focus, fun sex with a dope bitch, custom hat, and my, hold on, this is a custom hat, it's a one of a kind actually, custom hat and necklace, yeah, I did that one at the live performance too, that was fun. It's a, it's a great song man, you know what I'm saying, like I, that's usually, the, like I play it a lot. <laughs> Thank you, man. I really appreciate that a lot. I really do. I'm glad people are listening, bro. No, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to, like, like I said, allow me to play it, allow me to stream it, allow me to turn it into an intro, allow me to use it basically on my Twitch, my podcast, my YouTube. Like, it's it's out there. People are listening to it. Like, you sh uh, the video I posted this this today of um my interview with Vega Bomb Productions, I think it's like sitting at 23 views. And like I said, I'm a small podcaster, I'm a small streamer, but going from like one or five people to my stream to 26, almost 30 views on a YouTube video, people are listening to it and they're and they're hitting that, that, that button down below. Like they're going to my description. I've had people join my Discord and be like, can I get that extra, like extra email or can you like, can you give me the playlist again, that SoundCloud direct link? And I'm like, here you go. Random followers the last few days too, so I appreciate you, bro. If that's what that is, then absolutely, much love. And it, it might be, it might. I know we don't know, but all I'm saying is, like, the music is getting out there. People, it's trending. There's things going on, and I'm happy for it because I love it. Like being able, like being able to 
either interview or talk with somebody that I've known for years or like see how somebody's could do the come up, do the glow up. And then I'm also doing the same thing. Like I'm a streamer. You got, if you watch my stream, you know what I do. I play video games, but I also have a podcast and then I also do Pokemon cards and I also have times where we get real. We do literally interviews and we started doing interviews. We, I had EK Tycoons here and, and Richie Swanks. We had Vega Bomb Productions. Now we have Holla Out of Fool. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's so many more to come. Like, Anybody who's collabing with me or collabing with the Apollo Black channel is literally going to get an interview as well. And that's where we, like, having a lot of fool here today is literally the epitome of it. Because like I said, I've known Ben for years. He's the one that introduced me to Weeds, the TV show, Bob's Burgers, the TV show, Smoker Friendly. It, it, like I said, this is explicit. This is 18 and upstream. He's the first one that introduced me to a granddaddy bong. Like, he, it, it, he is that guy. He, he literally, the first day we met... I was sitting on my balcony. I used to live in a, a complex called the Oasis Club Apartments. I was sitting on my balcony and I was smoking hookah. And if you don't know what hookah is, I'm going to let Ben explain it. He'll tell you because I, when I found this out from him, I was like, wait, no, 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 no offense, no offense. You're like the lightest skinned person I've known. There's no way you came from over there. There's no way in hell you came from over there. He was like, our parents are military parents. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. Like He's like, I'll, I'll smoke you, kid. You said that you... From uh, I believe you said um, when we first met that you were from um, you, I believe it was you said Pakistan. You guys were military I kids. I was, fucking, I was fucking with you. I'm from New Jersey. Oh, you got see. Look at that. Now we're getting real information. But he was like, I'm from Pakistan. We used to smoke this in my in my dad's G in my truck in the back, like. <laughs> No, you're good. You're absolutely fine. Like I said, it's a great story. But yeah, I was smoking hookah on my patio, and he's coming up. Yeah, he's like, yo, bring that shit upstairs. I don't know you, but bring that shit upstairs. Guess who just texted me? Who? Jason Griffin, my old roommate from there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so I brought it upstairs. I get to... He said, yo, that shit was fire. You look good up there, boy. You did, like I said, I, I watched the Instagram the Instagram videos. You look great on stage. You like you look so comfortable on stage. So I go upstairs and he introduces me. Uh huh. Uh, before I got on in the crowd, I was really nervous. I I bet. I got the mic in my hand. I was like, let's fucking go. So I bring it upstairs and he's like, yo, I'm gonna outsmoke you on this. And I had a little pumpkin uh, hookah. It's like this big a little pumpkin bowl. And we're sitting there, and he starts, like I said, he starts rapping. We start watching TV shows. We're just smoking the hookah. And he literally starts introducing himself to me, introduced me to his roommate. I think we were there for like five hours. We smoked like two bowls. And we just literally just chilled. Chilled the entire time on hookah. And it was so great. Now, again, I'm just saying this for the, the stream. and I don't condemn smoking under the age of 21 by the, by the new law. New law. If you're smoking, whatever it is, under the age of 21, you're not allowed I am 28 years old. I was 18 at the time. Back then, the law was 18 and up to buy uh, cigarettes and hookahs, so you could do that. I am not telling you to go do it by any means. No, you do you. What I, you know, you do you as a person. But I'm just saying because these are the stories we're doing. It. I'm not telling anybody condone it. I'm not telling anybody to do drugs or anything. I'm just saying, growing up, this is the things we did. This is the things I did. This is how I met Ben. I was smoking hookah. Like. This is how I live, and this is and this is an eighteen and up podcast, and I tell you the real things. Like I said, they're my my facts, my opinions. You got to deal with it. And you watching like the stream, that. you watching the stream, you already know what you put up with. If you're, whether you're following me, whether you sub to the channel, or whether you follow me on Instagram, you know that if you're watching the streams, you're gonna get blunt and direct information. I'm gonna be blunt right, with you. Bro. Are you ready to hear uh, uh, some unreleased shit? I'm ready. I've been ready, man. You, the camera's all you. All right. I wonder if I can put it on. Alright, so I'll do, I'm going to play, it's called, it's called, it's called, uh, Pour Up, and we made it, my friends came into town to all watch the show. Okay. Um, and, um, the next day they all stayed in my house, we like had a fucking summer party basically, we all went downtown after my show and partied, like had a blast, and then these guys were all fucked up, so I was like, Pour Up. What's good, One Lost Legend, thank you for joining the stream, appreciate you tuning One in. You're about to hear an exclusive right now, man. That's yeah. Cool. So we get back to my house. We all go to sleep. The next day we wake up and we decided to make this song. My friend Cinnamon has never recorded music before. Okay. So let me know if you can hear this okay. I might switch it over to the speakers. Oh, I can hear you. I, I have great volume up. You're loud. Your audio is being picked up. Can you hear that? Yes, we can. Go ahead 
flip it, just kick it. That's thinking, he be licking, now he's thinking himself in a box. Is that a cat or a box? Is the pigeon a bird? Are these words that you heard? Are these colors you see? Are these smells that you smell? Oh well. You wouldn't even know, Ben. Types of the men for you, Ben. It's a hassle when you test it with the season of the new ham. Don't touch it. Did I just say new ham? Wait a second, is this Christmas? Don and Easter's. Money drop a rainbow, eggs and the Easter's. Honey on the couch, so they best good features. But my best is just as a teacher. Short my socket. Now, all the food hangs. Okay, up until Tuesday. Holy shit, is it Thursday? Damn. I've been fading way too long to wake up. In love with money, we ain't gonna break up. If you got a problem, then you need to show up. It's celebration, I don't see no drinking your cup over. One lost legend says that's dope as shit. He said that's dope. He said that's dope on stream. Guys, man, thank you. So the first verse was my boy Cinnamon, and he never recorded anything on the mic. And he's like, I think I might want to rap. And I just like got my shit and brought it all downstairs, my mic. And I was like, let's go, bro. We just went through the beats, and he goes, oh, I like that one. And then I wrote that. Uh, I think I wrote that hook on live on Instagram live. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I go live a lot while I'm making. He does. He does. So you can see my creative process. Hold on, let me get this done. Take your time, take your time. Exclusive interview right here. Right now, exclusive music, man. If you guys are tuning right, in, so you guys are seeing this live. Like I said, if you guys are watching this, let me let me get my face back on here. If you guys are watching this, you're watching this live. We're doing it big. You're listening to Holla at a Fool live exclusively right here on Apollo Black Stream on Twitch.tv. Let's go. So that was, that was his first time ever recording anything. And let me read you the lyrics, bro. I think they're so funny. Because that night, after my show, we all went to the club, and my buddies were so drunk, man, and they just got so drunk, so here are the lyrics. Um, Nick, my buddy Nick was going around and smelling, like, sniffing people, like, he was so drunk, he was just, like, sniffing fuckers, and I was like, what are you doing, man? Okay. You're acting crazy, so his first line is that, is, his first line is, go ahead and sniff it, Jess Kitten. That's Nick, and he be licking, because he also licked Corey in the face. <coughs> he be licking, probably sticking himself in a box. Is that a cat or a fox, a pigeon or a bird? Are these words that you heard? Are these colors that you see? Are these smells that you smell? Oh, well. But you ain't even no bed. And then that night, I had three pairs of new, brand new bands come in the mail. Okay. So he says, you ain't even new bed. Package in the mail, three new bands. It's a hassle when you tassel with the season on the new ham. Did I say new ham? Wait a second. Is this Christmas? And then I say it was Easter morning. We recorded this. I say, nah, man, it's Easter's. Bunny dropping rainbow eggs out the keisters. Honey's on the couch. Sunday best good features. Um, but my best is just a t-shirt, shorts, high socks, and some sneakers. Found Molly in a blue egg. Found Molly in a blue egg. Fuck me up until Tuesday. Holy shit, shit, it's Thursday. I've been fading way too long to wake up. In love with so <laughs> that's going on the just kidding. But I'm gonna have him come. He lives out of town, so next time he comes back in town, we're gonna re-record it. That's great. Yeah, that's I love great. it. I love it. The, he had a lot of fun doing it, man. It's good to see. I think I might wanna start what you're doing. We'll talk after this, maybe. But I want to see. Try to do something what you're doing, but like with. Teaching people how to record their vocals, teaching people how to make a song, how to do what I'm doing. Yeah, we can, you can, we can, I can definitely, we can talk afterwards and I can definitely tell you exactly what you need to do or like how you want to do it. I just kind of thought, I, I thought about this as we're doing this. I'm like, that would be cool if I just like, because I stream it live on Instagram, if I streamed it on Twitch and got a following. Or something. Dude. You stream it on Twitch, I will literally... Okay, so as as my channel, I officially got the unlockable thing where you can raid people. So, yeah. like I said, you're in my Discord now. So every time you go live, and this is information for anybody in my Discord, whether you're a streamer, you're a podcast, my community is open to all those. If you're in my streamer, if you're in my server, this is for all your information. 
in the server where you, before you go live on Twitch, like as, as you saw me do today, you can post your stuff there. So all the 20 people that are in the stream will instantly get that notification as well. And then also, if you go, if you download, if you get a Twitch and you make a Twitch account, I can raid your account and have your account stream on my channel as well. So when you go live, you go live on my channel. And not only that, I'll raid you so my following can see your 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 stream as well and follow you as well. So I can do that for you if you want to. Like if you if you want to do a Twitch, I can do that for you. I think that would be really cool and pretty easy to set up too. Because I record almost every day. It's super easy to convert. It's super easy, especially if you have like Streamlabs or OBS. It's super easy. So how was that? How was that sound on there? It's great. We we picked it up really good, and then I'm gonna when I go back to check in and do the ed the editing, I'll tell you exactly. But it sounded really good. It didn't go into the red. It stayed green. Everything was really good. Nothing went over spiky, and nothing spiked out of sound. So it's been really good. It was doing good. Take your time, dude. Take your time. I just want to take this time while we wait for him to take you to thank everybody who's tuning in and joining and appreciate you guys clicking on to my stream. Uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the interview so far. We got to ask personal questions. We got to go behind the scenes. As you see now, he's doing his little segment. He's performing some of his live music for us. He's performing some of the songs never before seen, the ones that are going to be on his album. Um, he's giving us little hints and tidbits to when his album is going to come out. Uh, if you're just tuning in and you weren't paying attention to the information before, he has another. If you live in Orlando, Florida, he has another concert downtown at SoundCloud, April twelfth, around ten p.m. I believe he said the same thing. It's ten dollars at the more, pay ten dollars at the door, pay no more. Do you know how to control your vocals, Apollo? If that's a, honestly, no, probably. Uh, when it comes to like, if you're talking about tone deaf, I can't control the volume of my voice because I speak at a normal tone and then get really loud but if you're talking about vocals as in like doing voices or like controlling your like controlling your tone i can do that because i do voices like voiceovers um like rick and morty and cookie monster and i can do voices so if you're talking about voice say again i'm back okay sorry i was just explaining something to my chat uh, so if you're talking about that kind of control vocals, then yes, I can do that. But if you're talking about tone of voice, then no, I have no control of my tone of voice. But I can control my vocals as in I can control what I do because I do voices. So like I can speak about – I can do Rick and Morty voices. I can do Mr. Meeseeks. I can do um, a couple voices. I, I've been practicing for almost three or four years on practices. My favorite voice actor is um, uh, Stephen, uh, Stephen Bloom, right? Yeah, Blooms, Bloomsburg. Blooms, yeah. Stephen Bloom, he plays basically like anybody. If you watch Toonami growing up, he was the main caster of Cowboy Bebop. Um, he basically was in like in every drag. He was Dragon Ball Z. He was Orochimaru and Naruto. He did a lot of voices. Uh, he's also Tank Dempsey in Call of Duty Zombies. If you play zombies, he's Tank Dempsey. So like, Rick Toffin, you damn sauerkraut. You, you know, like I love his voices and I love doing it. Um, That's pretty damn good. Yeah, I, I practice his voice. I practice a lot. Um, so like, especially when I'm playing zombies, when I'm listening to my headphones, I'll be like, um, "You damn German! We're supposed to be out of here. These damn zombies keep getting off us." Ooh, come for me, Jugga girl. So yeah, like I can do that, and then, ooh, Morty, she shot me in my fucking liver. It's the most working liver in the entire galaxy, and there's a hole in it. Bro, it sounds just like him. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, Rick. I didn't mean to do that to you. Oh, oh man. Oh, jeez. I'm Jessica. Yeah, you started saying that, and I thought you really played fucking... No, that's me. That's me. I practice my voices, and I... Oh, I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. Look what I can do. How can I help? Oh, he left. Yep, he's back. Did I lose you? You lost us for, like, you lost us for, like, a split second. You're back. Your camera's off, but you're good. All right. Can you hear that in the background? Yes, I can. A little bit. All right. How about, hold on. Just tell me when. You hear that? No. Yes. We can hear it. We can hear it. I'm performing this song on Monday. Performing this song on Monday. I'm going to play it over, right? I kind of want to actually, I'm going to mute all the vocals and I'm going to perform it live for you right now. See if I can do it. Even better, even better. This is a 
brand new song. I'm working on it literally now. Try to get it ready for that show. Just letting you know your camera's still off. Just giving you a heads up. Oh, my camera is off. Take your time. Take your time. All right. Mm -hmm. Good to go. Good to go. This is always called slide. Here. I keep the ad libs in. Walk out the house in my Nike slides. Bum left flop and don't break my stride. Imagine dad socks and they pull up high. Avocado toast my girl provides. No bravado, it's beautiful outside. I see an old lady need help across the street. I grab her groceries. She don't ask nothing from me. I smile and leave. What was I doing out in these streets? That's right, smoke weed. I don't smoke weed with kids around. That's frowned upon. I gotta find a corner to go around. This shit is really loud. My mom is really proud of me. I should get something to eat. Silk Sonic on repeat in my headphones. Where you lames going? I can switch flows. High as fuck, man. On my tiptoes, Mr. Nice Guy to start up the track. Not anymore, motherfucker. Talk slick, you get smacked. She get bored with you, take you to the park to relax. She snore after I hit it, baby. Love to take naps. See, I'm the man and I've been him. I stay manifesting. What you know about a lady who can lead you in prayer? A lot easier to win when your thoughts are clear. So free your mind, free your thoughts. Get a free feature from me before I pop. You look lost, and that's okay, my friend. Don't pretend to be cool if you're close to the edge. I got an ear to lend. Probably could have saved a couple people that ain't here no more. Knew what they were going through and listened more. Don't even take I fo. Fuck the motorcycle. Still ill, live on through these parts I wrote. Got the green effect and I've been connected with the weed man and the god above me. Nothing can stop me. You and what army laughing at the world. This shit is funny. And I'm a goddamn comedian. I'm probably with your bitch. It doesn't matter what you see me in. You looking like a snitch and I don't care what fuck you see me with. Boy, I got the sauce. You barely got ingredients. And I'm about to make some pasta. Your girlfriend is on my roster. Smoking like a roster. Eyes red, I'm a lobster. Never playing possum, no option to lose. Rather get high so I fuck with booze. It's the wine so my girl can decide what movie she wants to get fucked to tonight. Right now I'm on shrooms in my room and I think I'm delusional. Get a balloon and I fill it with laughing gas. You don't know the half of it. Feel like a cartoon on the moon and I used to assume that my doom's coming soon. Now I pave in the way. I carry the weight. It costs to be great. Don't make the mistake. I carry the weight. If they paying for my time, I'm showing up late. Slaying these rhymes, there is no debate. I'm in Orlando with a diamond. She's cooking me steak. Absolute fire. Thank you, sir. No, thank you. No, it's 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 all good. You were live. You did it. You like you basically did another live performance on the stream. It's all good. We understand completely. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Uh, quick, quick uh, side cap. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining. If you're clicking on the stream, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, we're doing exclusive live interview with Holla at a Fool over on Instagram. I am not a rapper, so if you're tuning in just now, because I, I saw those numbers go up, I saw some people click try to sneak in here. You thought you were sneaky. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for clicking on my stream. Uh, this is Holla at a Fool. We are doing an interview with him. You can find him on SoundCloud. You can find him on Instagram. He is uh, a poet. He is a, in my terms, a slam poetry rapper. It's really good. He has a new taste of music, new taste of genre. If you haven't heard, if you don't know, now you know. Check it out. I, I recommend it. Check it out. Don't know, now you know. Holla at a fool. Yeah, I, uh, One Lost Legend says, that just hit different with the sad, with the sad face. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, see? That's a good one, man. I like that one. That one's really fun. I like that one. I want to keep going, bro. I'll give you another exclusive one. Hey, you're you're all good. I um I This one this one's off my uh, upcoming album called um What a Life. And this one is it's the song after the main character takes the acid. Um the girl in the in the story, she says, "Open your mouth. Just set an intention. 
she's like, like really sweet, sweet to him, and then she just yeah, gives him acid, and then it goes, goes bloop, and then this song starts to play. Okay. So after, after after the bloop, this song comes on. I'll do it live too. I think it's beautiful, bro. I found it on YouTube and I I bought it. The beat. I think it's beautiful. beautiful. That it, it sounds beautiful. It sounds smooth. It sounds smooth. I want it to be like you're like in the trip now. You're like whoa. And it just does this for like a minute, I think, before I even rap. Make sure I come in at the right time. Here we go. To live is to die. Let's ride. That's why I get high. The sky is the limit they lied. The truth is hidden in my vision. It shouldn't come as surprise. I'm wise, but the beat makes me blind. The weak fall in line. I'm breaking rules that don't exist. Man, I'm feeling divine. I stop trying. I do. I got nothing to prove. I'm cool. What's new? I like the way that you move. Meet the crew. No swears. I ain't fucking with cues. Because I'm aware. What I do has an effect on you. Yeah. So all I have is the truth. All I have is the truth. All I have is the truth. The truth is organically aligned, systematically divine. I exist in a state of bliss, all because of ignorance. The more I know the scale tips and I question my existence, that's on period. There are people in Cairo that are used to the pyramids. Smell the flowers, it ain't all that serious. It ain't all that serious. Live is to die, let's ride, that's why I get high. The sky is the limit, they lie. The truth is hidden, the vision, it shouldn't come as a surprise. I'm wise, but the speed makes me blind. The weak fall in line, breaking rules that don't exist. Man, I'm feeling divine, I stop trying, I do. I got nothing to prove, I'm cool, what's new? I like the way that you move, meet the crew. No swears, I ain't fucking with cues, I'm aware. What I do is an effect on you. So all I have is the, all I have is the truth. And that goes for another, Think minute maybe. It's that's oh it's so good man. I love I love it. I'm loving your music. And it, ends, it ends pretty beautifully too. It ends like this. I'm loving and it. After that one ends, it goes to. <laughs> And then after that, it goes spontaneous to hit an angel dust. You're outrageous, but you can't outrage us. And then that one, after the hyperventilate, is like really fucking fast, bro. Uh, I haven't done the beat or anything of that yet, but I, it's called Split. And that one's like, it's like you're running almost. Okay. Split. Yeah, that one's pretty fucking wild, man. That one's not done yet, so I'm going to save that one. It sounded, it sounded great, especially your flow. Thank you, man. No, thank you. Like I said, if you're missing it here, you're not tuned in. We're getting exclusive, exclusive, here's right the here. Song too. Here's, here's Daisy's, Daisy's love song. song. So, so, all right, all right there's, there's two, two ways, ways I can do, do Daisy. Daisy. Do it the best way you're comfortable with. Listen, Listen to this, this though, my buddy's, buddy's guitar. guitar. She's a wildflower, let her grow. Oh wait. Oh, wait. Okay. But I'm thinking I'm going to do it. I'm going to perform this one as well at my next show. Okay. Performing this one at my next show. So I'm going to do that one you did earlier in Slide. And then I'm going to do Slide into Spontaneous. And then I'm hoping, bro. I'm hoping. I'm telling you everything. I'm hoping I can bring a rocking chair. I have a tie-dye rocking chair that my girlfriend made for me. Okay. 
I'm hoping, I'm hoping they'll, they'll let me bring a rocking chair, chair on stage. stage. Here, here's the hoping, because that would look that would look good. Here's, here's the hoping. It'll be fun, fun as hell, hell man. So, so I'm gonna do this like this one. Here you go. She's a wildflower, let her grow. No need for water, that girl is soaked. If you love her better, let her know. But she ain't basic, might be better shown. Sweet nectar of the gods, I'm in awe by you. That face you making when you come, pause for a few. On to round two, body so smooth. When I move, you move, yeah baby, just like that. Come here, arch your back, kiss your neck. Grab your ass and I smack. She get on top and tell me to relax. We ain't gonna stop. And the neighbors are mad, but I ain't assuming nothing. We cuddle up and we love and she kissing on my stomach. Baby girl is up to something. It's our world in the moment. High five, now she's snoring. Wake up and do it again in the morning. That's Daisy. And she's a wildflower, let her grow. No need for water, that girl is so. And if you love her better, let her know. But she ain't basic, might be better shown. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful, yeah, I beautiful. Thank you, no, thank, like I said again, like, and I'm gonna say it a lot, but your music is literally just talent. Whether it's rhyme scheme, whether it's the flow, whether it's the bars, it's just really good music, and you have a great, great story behind it as well. It's so, it's so good. Like, not only am I listening to good music, but I'm also listening to a good story. I'm literally learning who Holla the Fool is. That, that, that's, that's the point of the first one. one. I, think I think after, after the, first the first one, one the, the idea, idea for, the for the second, second one, one is gonna, gonna be. be um, my, my, I, want I want to go on, go on tour, tour, man. I, 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 I really, really honestly believe, believe even if I don't blow, blow up and become, you know, super, super famous or whatever, I believe I, believe I can go, go on tour. Right. And do shows. I want, I want to go on tour, tour once with my people and get paid to do fucking shows. shows. So, so that's going to be my second album. album. It's going to be the four hour. We're going to turn up. We're going to have fun. I'm going to rap. Like, I'm rapping, but I'm also just going to, like, turn up. Let's party. Let's get live. I want a live band with me. Okay. Like, I want to be like Anderson Pac, mixed, mixed with Gambino, mixed, mixed with Lil Wayne, Ben Fucking Neal, some Hollow Fool. <laughs> well, that's interesting, man. I love it. I love it. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, hey, we got people doing the stream? We do. We have people coming and going. We have. We had people. We had. We went up to five, and then we went back to one, and we keep going up and down. But there's people. As soon as you started rapping, they, we went up to like six people. And then we shot back down. So people are coming in and coming out, like I said. But this is not the only time they're gonna be able to see it. Once the video, once we're done with the stream, it's gonna be posted to my Twitch. I'm gonna re-edit it and then post it to YouTube. So it's gonna be able to be seen everywhere. And I'm also gonna send you a copy out of that as well. So once I post it to YouTube, you'll have a copy. Beautiful, bro. So here's, so here's a beat. I just, I just put, put on. on. I haven't made it into this yet. So, so. Let's, let's go. Hollow black. black. On the chat. This was dope, yo, it's never whack. Just sit back, relax, take notes. As I quote people, I'm focused and I'm fighting evil. It's all good, man. I'm chilling in my den. Me and homie friends, probably till the end. And it's all good, let's ride, live life. Wake up in the morning and get high if you want to. It's all good, dude, you're still cool like anybody. Talking to y'all through the computer screen, and I love it, and I hope you know what I mean. I don't want to shove facts in your face and sound like I'm preaching. Cause I don't know Jesus. I just know wisdom. I think I'm becoming someone finally, you know what I'm saying, bro? Let's rap about it and fucking kill this shit. Because I love life. The goal is to be a little diligent and do it. Got to do it every day. Got to open a shop. Never going to stop. One day you're going to pop, boom. Pop a success instead of like popping your head because you have been stressed. Nah, fuck that. Backseat. I dead those fucking dead dreams. I'm moving on. Tomorrow my shit is on. Like, let's get it. Got a roach. I need a lighter. I've been fucking using matches for this whole goddamn podcast. <laughs> yeah. Life is good, bro. Yo, shout out to Apollo Black, man. Thanks for having me on the stream, bro. That was fun. That was that's a true, true 
little freestyle for your boy right there. Oh, I appreciated it so much. Especially when you started saying my name. I was like, oh, that's I'm going to clip that and post that as like an intro cutscene. I'm like, you missed this exclusive right here. Thank, thank you so, so much, much for having, having me, man. Thank I think we should we'll probably wrap it up. How long have we been doing? Hey, we're going on two hours, two hour interview. Or, or, yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta eat, eat something, something man. man. No problem, man. And I was gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're probably gonna wrap it up because I also have to go check on the baby and everything. But then we also have to talk after after the stream. So. Yes. Yes. Without further ado, we're gonna up, we're gonna wrap it up right here. If you don't know, you won't know. Now you know. I'm Apollo Black One One Five. You watch my exclusive interview today with Ben, aka Holla at a Fool. You can find Holla at a Fool over on Instagram. Instagram at Holla at a Fool. SoundCloud at Holla at a Fool. If you're looking for exclusive, exclusive in the chat in the description down below, I have posted all his information, so you can literally click on it, scroll through the chat, click on it, go right to his page. His SoundCloud, right to the page. Instagram, right to the page. Don't hesitate. Don't be under the rock. You're sleeping on it. Check his music sleep, out. You check his music out. I highly recommend it. Whether you saw it here live or whether you watch my Instagram or you watch my Snapchat, the exclusive only was here live behind the scenes interview. We got the music. We got the performance. We got the Easter eggs. We got the behind the scenes. We got info on his soon coming out album. We got the list of the songs. So if you watch to here, you know it. If you don't, then you left out. You can catch the video later on YouTube, but... Until next time, until next time, there, guys. Man. It's been a good one. Thank you so much. Can I, can I, can I plug in? Can I plug yeah, that's what I was myself? gonna say. I was gonna give you the camera. Go ahead and give your plugins. Go ahead, and give your shout outs, your loved ones. All right, All right. You, you can you can follow me at Holla at a Fool on Instagram, on Instagram, and from there you can find my SoundCloud page. My SoundCloud has Just Kidding, which if you guys follow me and come on this ride, you'll be able to see exclusive uh, rough drafts of my mixtape Just Kidding because I'm dropping every song I do. On SoundCloud first, and then I'm gonna re-record it and then drop it as a mixtape. So you guys be able to see the background. I'm I'm posting videos of every single song on my Instagram as well. One minute funny videos with the songs, and then um follow Temple Tales Live for the podcast. That info is also on Instagram, and then come find me at Elixir on Wednesdays. We're there every Wednesday from nine until two a.m. doing the podcast, and that's downtown Orlando Elixir. And then I'll have a bunch of upcoming shows at Soundbar. They told me they'll be doing like one or two a month at Soundbar. So I'm going to sign up for every one. Uh, Soundbar is also downtown Orlando. And uh, my next show is April 12th. It's a Monday night, and I'll be going on around 10 o'clock. Um, but, bro, thank you so much, man. This has been a pleasure. I'm glad you had me on and let me uh, have my freedom to talk what up, talk my shit, man. I got no audio. I apologize for that. Hey, hit my mic so we can hear you exclusively. I said no, thank you so much because it was a pleasure having you. It's been great fun. We got, like I said, we got exclusives. You got to perform. We got to see behind the scenes. We got to see who you really are. You got to be real and focused. It's, it was great. Like just having you be you was the best thing on this interview today. Just look it out for what a life and just kidding. I'm not a fool. I'm not a rapper. All right, guys. And until next time, don't don't sleep. Until next time, guys. Check it out. See you guys later. And enjoy. Good morning. Still pouring orange juice cup from the cupboard. I'm sure it's clean. More morphine. Please, what's in store today? G's can't afford any more.